Good morning, YouTube. Vlog number two, day two. I'm at my local dog recreational facility. I'm gonna try to uh, test some equipment, try to break some speed records. Um, my small dog, Duke, he has raced cheetahs, he's raced gazelles, he's raced those tiny little race cars that pop wheelies and shoot fire out the back. I think they're called, uh, I don't know, top fuel dragster or something like that. He's lost every time, but he doesn't give up. He likes to run. So, I have the GoPro, the um, Session, Hero 5 Session is the tiny one. I've got a mount that's meant to put it on your hat. I'm gonna see if I can hook it to his collar and see how that works. You know, I try to learn from other vloggers' mistakes, like I learned from Adam the Woo, don't trespass on Disney property. <clears throat> Excuse me. I learned from Adam, don't do a daily vlog because it will consume your life. Um, Jacob the carpetbagger, I've, I've learned a few things. I learned every southern attraction has a moonshine still. I learned, um, don't give out any of your personal information because the nuts on the internet will come after you. They will come after you, they will come after your job. Don't come at me, bro, please. I live a quiet life. Um, so anyway, what I, what, another thing I'd learned from them is that uh, copyrighted music is a, is a weird thing on YouTube. Even though Google owns YouTube and Google has Google Play Music, so I'm sure they have the rights to every song imaginable. Maybe I don't understand how that works correctly, but anyway, if you watched the video yesterday from Carmine Oddity's Boutique, there's now several spots in the video that are just complete silence. The reason for that is as soon as I uploaded it, uh, Google, a YouTube supercomputer detected three songs that are copyrighted, which were playing so quietly, so lightly in the background at Carmine's that um, most people probably wouldn't even have noticed them, but Google's, uh, Google's or YouTube's algorithm noticed them. So when that happens, they give you an option. You can remove the songs, which is what I chose to do. So now there's just silence in those spots. Or you can leave them. They're like, it's no problem. You know, we'll, uh, we'll just put ads on your video and we'll take the money from those ads and we'll send it to the copyright holder to reimburse them. And I, don't, I didn't want ads on my video. I certainly didn't want ads if I wasn't gonna get the money from them. Uh, so I chose to take them out. So now there's just a bunch of silence in my video. But you know, you live and you learn. I'm just now getting around this, uh, this YouTube thing. So anyway, I'm shooting this on the Pixel 2, which is an awesome phone. So far, I love it. It's on the uh, Smooth Q gimbal, 3-axis gimbal. Um, I used the gimbal yesterday at Carmine's. I also used a lapel mic at Carmine's. Right now, I'm shooting without any mic, so we'll see how this sounds. I had read all kinds of reviews that said the, the sound was the only negative thing about the Pixel 3, or Pixel 2. So we'll see. We'll see how this sounds. Um, you know, if it's bad, I'll go back to the lapel mic. But anyway, let's see how uh, let's see how Duke does. Okay, I have uh, I have Duke hooked up. All right, how about it? Come on. Now he wants to run without the camera. So this is me shooting with the uh, Pixel 2 and with the GoPro uh, mounted on my hat, the way this uh, attachment was meant to be worn. Okay, one thing I'm seeing pretty quick, it is hard, it's hard to watch 
wearing the thing on your head so you're trying to keep your head pointing the right direction and you're wearing a, and a, you're holding a pixel 2 at the same time sure it looks absolutely ridiculous now without the camera on duke is running crazy which is what i intended for him to do with the camera but kind of thought that's how it would work out guys I'm now shooting with the handheld no gimbal I have turned image stabilization back on on the phone and I'm using a lapel mic as opposed to the sound the onboard sound a lot easier to track a tiny dog with a handheld than with that gimbal but we'll see how this how smooth it comes out There are other people at the dog park now, so I don't know how much longer we'll stay because I'm sure, like most people, they'll think I'm a nut because I've got multiple cameras going. got the GoPro going the backpack mounted see how smooth all this turns out Look at this YouTube, traffic in Orlando has come to an almost complete stop because there are a million, on this side too, <laughs> there are a million peacocks running wild in Orlando. Okay YouTube, back at home, um, I am seriously drawn, I don't know, this cost like $140. This cost like $10. If you watch the footage, was there really that big of a difference? Plus the gimbal is so big and bulky and just keep trying to carry it with you wherever you're going. And I know probably theme park security is gonna question that. And I don't think the footage was that much smoother with the gimbal than it was with just the handheld grip and the image stabilization. The Pixel 2 and the uh, Hero 5 Session GoPro both are supposedly famous for their built onboard stabilization, so I really don't know if I need the gimbal. The uh, sound wise, the sound with the lapel mic to me was noticeably better than just the, uh, the Pixel. I don't think the Pixel 2 sound was as bad as people have said it is. It didn't sound that bad to me, but just the wind and everything, the lapel mic seemed to cut all that out. So that was my uh, adventure at the dog park testing the equipment. Let me know what you think in the comments. Blog complete. Hey! La, 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 la.